Hey guys, it's your favorite African auntie and today I am back in my studio, aka my bedroom, and I'm here to show you how to create your very own DIY home studio from the comfort of your own home. It's cheap, it's easy, and it's really pretty quick. So you guys know I'm not a fan of long introductions, so I've already jumped right into it. I'm going to have three different outfits, all from River Island, which I will link in the description box below. And I'm going to show you how I put together three completely different sets using my own house so as you can see i've already taped up my little cloud that i got from the amazon and the very next thing that i do is i start with my equipment so the first piece of equipment that i start off with is my backdrop stand so you can see me putting together the stand which is pretty simple and pretty self-explanatory and again i get all of my camera equipment from amazon i will link all the links in the description box below um, including my backdrop you can get your backdrops from Amazon or you can literally go to any camera store so I start off with my pink backdrop and this is what I call the layered effect so I start off with the clouds on the wall and if I had two backdrop stands I would just put it on a backdrop stand but because I don't I just tape it up on the wall and you can do the same with your backdrops if you at the moment cannot afford a backdrop stand feel free to just tape your backdrop up on the wall which is what I did for a couple of months so now that I've done my backdrop I'm moving on to the light and because it's a million degrees in New York I'm only gonna use one light because pro tip um studio lights are really really hot so i'm using this ring light and the setup is also pretty easy and self-explanatory um and this ring light i also got from amazon links in the description box below i feel like i have to keep saying that because you hoes don't read the description box <laughs> but <laughs> right after i set up my light that's where i bring in my props which are always always foliage this is a real plant that i got from home depot i usually put one up on a stool and then i put another plant um down on the floor all of my plants live in my room so it's also just easy access and also because i'm just obsessed with foliage um and then we move on to the creative part so what i'm doing is this like ripped layered i don't even know what to call this you guys come up with a name for this studio aesthetic set design and what i do is i rip apart my pink paper to have the clouds show through so that when i take the picture it just looks like i'm floating in the sky but like my sky you know what i'm saying and now that that's done the set is complete which means i can start serving looks this is outfit one head to toe river island and what i do is the camera is right in front of me it's on a self timer i usually take about five to six looks this is generally like just me moving from pose to pose um and you don't have to do that money just take a few and this is the final result so now i move on to the very next outfit so the nice thing about shooting in your own room is that it's so easy to change between outfits and it's just so quick to change between sets you can literally knock out which is what i usually do i usually do like five or six shoots a day and that just makes my workflow for the month go a lot smoother so now i'm moving on to my second look and i'm using the yellow backdrop basically over the months i've collected an assortment of different colored backdrops um and this yellow one is already cut out because i was shooting something like a week or two ago and that's already done so my second look is again from river island um and what i'm doing here is playing around with primary colors and again i just get in front of the camera i serve looks and i try to make my backdrops coordinate with my outfits um i can do a whole video on that if that would be of interest to you let me know in the comment section below but this is the final look 
And then we move on to our third and very last outfit and for this I'm using the orange backdrop. So as you can see by now, you've probably gathered, I'm pretty much doing the exact same thing with different colored backdrops but it's amazing how different or how different the tone and the feel and the aesthetic is. I feel like it's all my aesthetic because I'm obsessed with colors and I'm obsessed with foliage but I feel like all three outfits and all three looks just give off such a different vibe and tone and that's the beauty of like studio shoots. So with this I'm gonna cut through my orange backdrop um so you start off with scissors and then you just rip it open with your hands i would recommend ripping it open with your hands because it looks messy and just looks it just has a different feel than how it would look if you were like to rip it open with a pair of scissors so rip it open with your hands um move the plant right back in front of the backdrop once you're done with that you can start serving looks so again, get in front of the camera. This one had to be a quick one because I was running out of time and I had to go to a meeting. So I only really served a few, but this was the final result. So there you have it guys. Let me know which one of these was your favorite. Did you like the orange? Did you like the pink? Or did you like the yellow? Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!